Hey everybody, Astronaut Boy here. It is time for episode 27, not 27, 29 of our Outer Worlds series. Um, episode 28 was... Started out okay and then became an unmitigated disaster. As I lost uh, 18 minutes of footage. So, today's episode, we are going to recover that ground um now one of the things that i was doing and i was having trouble with uh there's an optional deal here about the uh, intern and yet She's still an optional, and I've already talked to her. And I got to thinking, now, I could not figure this out during the last 18 minutes. I'm thinking, I, I was not sure, I might have to, I, I know I did this one, but I didn't, I don't think I came back to her. So I'm going to go out and, like, do these things and then come back to her. Because I suspect that she probably has been bungling around and doing stuff in here. And and she's the one uh, that's uh, been messing with things. Um, of course, there's still a chance that maybe the, the possessed, slug-infested uh, uh, people that we keep running into could have something to do with it. But... I tend to discount that because I think they're employees. All right. So, all right. So, yeah, I did go out here. Yep, yep, yep. So, in the previous episode, I killed some of the whatevers that are over there. But this time, I'm not going to go worry about that too much. I'm just going to go straight. All right. The fried console is in that deal. I know I did that. So let's go. I did. I, I, I did that. I went wandering around a lot in the 18 minutes. But this time I'm going to go straight over here. Actually, not sure if I even finished this or not. I do remember doing it though. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Looks like it's just on the inside of this thing. All right. All right. The dead saplings are over there. What do we got here? Oh, I think it was... Alright. This console is 95% non-functional. Remaining 5% functionality stems from display reading, <laughs> console non-functional. Cause of short out is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the keyboard. Perform a chemical analysis. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, and artificial sweeteners number 35, number 49, number 240, number 322, number 314, and many, many, many others. Uh, inspect the console. Oh, oh, okay. It looks like several of the electronic panels were removed and fastened back into place poorly. Um, we're gonna do it. I did it last time. Taste the residue. You know you're liable to get sick doing that. It's super sugary with a sweet tang of purple berry and a bunch of other tropical flavors all mixed in. It meshes well with the faint flavor of oil. 
Alright, so we've done this. I think there was some loot in here. I don't think there was anything else in here. top here no it's not letting me okay that's why i'm going forward but it's pushing me off to the side a bit all right no loot up top no weirdness to be seen in here time to move on my friends all right so where was, let's see, that's the dead saplings. Let's go check out the dead saplings. I don't remember if I did this or not, may have. I was trying to think that, oh, what? there it is. I was gonna say I can hear things. All right, there's like a lot of stuff back here. All right, there's only two right now in. Never saw it. All right, that meant much smoother than it did the time before during the lost footage, at least as my memory goes. Although, I don't remember there only being three. It seemed like there was more. Inventory. Hokomoko, we're almost choked down. We gotta get to a we gotta get to a vending machine soon here. Uh alright, the intern is back that away. The dead saplings are this way. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. Yeah, well. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. Discrepancy amplifier. Where are these canisters usually kept? These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the Purpleberry Orchards, except for this one, which can be found here. <laughs> Initiate a deeper chemical analysis. Chemical makeup of substance, 50% water, 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Boo hoo. All right, maybe this container wasn't properly cleaned after it was used to hold fertilizer. All right, so I do remember doing that now. The intern is that way. I'm gonna hit F5. Now, before I think I went exploring a bunch, I'm just gonna go straight back to the intern. And we will see what she has to say for herself. Uh, okay. You know what? 
we'll do a quick scan and then we'll bring up Just in case. Just in case something decides to go boo. <laughs> All right. All right, talk to me, girl. Back again, eh? I knew you couldn't resist my charms for long. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I found Unless a you already have. Okay, so... In which so, case, I probably won't forget a second time. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. So, okay. That's, that's exactly, I did right this time. So during the last 18 minutes, I kept trying to clear her deal and it wasn't doing it. But now, because I went to the other two places first and then came back to her, now then I can grill her with new options that weren't there. So, so that was the right choice. So that's good, so. Well, maybe. Oops. I might have had a supersized cup of mixed purpleberry punch and lemon slap that I might have knocked over when I was running routine diagnostics. Look, I know what you're thinking, but I have the proper permit to mix those drinks. I just left it in my other work uniform. I doubt it. I've used that exact same line. <laughs> hey, we have a lot of uniforms. It's hard keeping track of all your belongings. Did you dump the drink before or after you removed the console's control panel? How did you notice? I... The diagnostic normally takes hours, and that's only if humidity's low. I wanted to take the initiative to try and make it faster. I found a toxic mix, so that was for the... Um... <clears throat> the machine that we checked that was... You know, sept touched. I found a toxic mix of fertilizer and weed killer on some purple berry saplings, thoughts? Why should weed killer affect saplings? Weed killer, it's in the name. It should kill only weeds. That really seems like it's more on product design than on me. <laughs> Laws alive. I really did think I was doing good by the orchards, but with all that you've told me, it sounds like I've done much more harm. I know it's a lot to ask, but is there a chance you could vouch for me to my boss? It might not seem like it, but I've been trying to take the initiative. I really do want to help. Um, well, all right. There's no harm in trying to make things better. I'll talk to your boss. Wow, thank you so, so much. I'm a nice guy. You do this for me and I'll make sure to do whatever I can to make things better. Well, there you go. I'm real proud of you, Captain. Well, I'm glad you're proud of me, Pravati. Are you proud of me too there, girl? Guess I ought to call you Inspector while we're on Eridanos. I still wish they had some better um, dialogue options. All right, hard save done. And we are back. All right, so we do J is for journal. Yep, now it's checked off. I feel very good, so. Yep, last week, last episode was just rubbish. Oh my goodness, just rubbish. But we've made up for it already in the first few minutes of this episode, so I'm okay with that. All right, hey. Actually, let's bring you up. Let's just see. Is there anything fun in the local area? No, there's no investigative clues in the local area, but um, how about we... Oops, all right, he's behind the boulder. All right, there he is. So if you're wondering why I started doing it this way with the queue, I start th these things are not like some of the other planets where I went to them out of order and they got the easier stuff later. What's up? And I won't have any new battle scars. Anyway, yeah, they are much 
the beasties are much tougher over here. So even though this sniper rifle is amazing beyond belief, it is still... You know, I think... I don't remember if I went to this platform before, but I bet you... Uh-huh, come on. Seriously. I don't know if I've been in there. But I'm thinking that maybe... Well, no, that looks like a house. There may not be a vending machine over here. I'm, I'm hoping there is, because I'd like to dump off some stuff. Ooh. Hello. Down he goes. Whoa, there's another one. Show it. Priority one message from Starfleet coming in on secure channel. It's Crystal Pool, my goodness. Hello. Coming in with the 20 month sub. Thank you so much. Wow. It's been a long time no see, my friend. Long time no see. All right, so. Nothing here. I think we already looted him, though. Um. One of the things that annoys me and it's it's a me problem is i lose track of uh creatures i killed like i know i killed two over this way but where's the second one no nope, that's a boulder and then i was just looking over here oh there he is i just i just so easily lose my targets. So we'll go over here. We'll just get the quick loot. Sneaky, sneaky. These are the upgraded space apes. Even though they they say drunk, they can definitely take uh, a lot more hits than your normal space ape. All right, let's do a quick save here. All right, so I don't see... I see this dude that... There's a dude that's uh, been wa uh, talking with my chat stream. Okay, yeah, he's just an orchard worker, so he's okay. I think I can... Safely put this away. And walk in. And hope he doesn't get hostile. Ooh, okay. There's a ship over here. No, well, yeah, well, okay. Oh, look, look, look. So we've seen a lot of these sleds on the planets. So this is like a little, I guess, a ship, but it looks like it's designed to pull these sleds. Wow, okay, that's cool. That's the first time I've seen that, where the one is hooked to the other. These things, these trailers have always been by themselves, usually tipped over, you know, or whatever. This is the first time where not only does it have cargo on it, but it's got its front end too, the haul of cargo. So that's actually kind of cool. I like that. That's an actual, uh, um, yeah. It's a, as Count Masratu saying, it's a, looks like a big space rig. You know? um, yeah, for you guys on YouTube, we are recording this live on Twitch. Um, oh, there you are. Caught a real lucky break working on Eridanos. I could have been stuck on Terra, too. He's got a worm in his uh, neck. So. All right. Please let me have. Oh, wait. You know what? Um... Well, it would have gone. Beep, beep, beep. That's the one nice thing about having this, even if you don't have the the thing up, it'll still let you know it'll go beep beep beep. No, no vending machine. All right. 
you know, he's pretty far back. I'm gonna go and close this though. You can't see me, I'm the gingerbread man. Don't let him see me, girls. Dissident Queen 2, Chapter... Oh, sorry. Dissident Queen, Chapter 2. Halcyon Helen encounters the Slugman. Hmm. So, some bit of... Um... Fiction. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, in the toilet. <laughs> We're retrieving some baked beans from the toilet. <laughs> we have no pride, no shame. All right, what is this? Ah, that's not stealing. Yeah, buddy. All right, so the bummer here is that I was not able to find a vending machine here, but what I think I want to do because I'm so choked down with uh, stuff is I'm going to fast travel over here and then I don't know if I've explored this or not. I mean, there's a lot of little points of interest thingies over here. So I'm going to fast travel over here. And we should be able to talk to what's his face and see what's me out. Okay, what happened there? Apparently I accidentally misfired. The freaks come Thanks out at night. Rizzo's purple berry the freaks orchards, come out at insects night. Insects and workers alike are always busy bees. <laughs> now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. So, Wormneck, Sydney, I'm going to sell you my stuff. Aha. All right. So, I'm going to sell the rest of the stuff off camera. All right. So, we've got now 100 kilograms or pounds or whatever it is. Read up. All right, now we're gonna get rid of the free away from the freaky woman And now we're gonna finish this quest But first we're gonna look over the side It's pretty wild so we've been there And we've been here You're back I see Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. I don't scare. I think it's more of a wonder that nothing in these law-forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? You got a complete report for me yet? I do indeed. I've got a complete report. All right. Let's hear the details. A drink was spilled over the processing console, shorting it out. A drink? I ain't never heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. I took care of the roaming exterminator Automex. Huh. You didn't destroy any of them? Reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your bosses, Hathaway. Lucky you. You're annoying. So what were the fine details of the sabotage anyhow? Were slugs lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspquitos? Um, I mean, I guess they were just trying to kill everything. Reckon they've got something in common with the waspquitos then. Probably why slug just set the mechanicals to attack everything. Eventually, they'd kill our pollinizers. In your delusional fantasy, the Waspquitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. 
Is there a way to manually initiate a pollinization cycle? Well, yes. It's possible to manually start and end cycles in Hive Control, but we keep a careful watch on it. And there have been no non rizos personnel in or out. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Uh, finally, a, an, an herbicide was mixed in with the fertilizer, which ended up killing the saplings. Ha! New slug was behind the damn sabotage. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it wasn't Slug, then who the hell was it? Anna Summers caused your problems, but she didn't do it on purpose. Summers? The intern? I didn't really take her for a meddlesome type. But now that I think about it, that's why she'd be a perfect saboteur. I'll deal with her later. Right now, we of the Orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, what the hell. The Orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal, but at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is agitating. Rizzo's will have to will have bits to spare after the brown unveiling. Could pay then with interest. Hmm. Never like paying bits if I ain't gotta, but you're right. If we get production finished now, we'll be able to pay later. Thoughts, slug boy? I think that's the first interesting suggestion I've heard since our back and forth began. Slug can wait for an increase in costs. I hope we won't have this conversation again. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the intern. If she was really causing all that trouble, I will delight in severing her from her job. Sitting it spread back to the unemployment line. I think you should just let her keep doing what she's doing now. Your intern confessed to being inept she honestly seemed like she wanted to help. Even if I were inclined to believe you, that's some damn severe incompetence you're talking about. I still wouldn't want someone like that working the orchards. Perhaps she could be of use to each other. What the hell are you proposing? Let her burn the orchards down while I stand behind her and applaud? We ain't got nothing to exchange. The intern's an earnest worker I'd bet she'd maybe do an excellent job with your guidance. She wants to help, does she? You know what? I'll call your bluff. She can keep at it with close supervision, but if she screws up even once, she's out. Use your pay, with a little extra for getting to the bottom of things. It's gonna be real interesting in the orchards for the foreseeable future. Thanks, I guess. All right, so... 2250 bits. Mm. So, our situation is finally resolved. At the end of the day, it's almost amazing how easily you were able to solve both of our issues. Shame you aren't living in Byzantium. Could have been an intercorporate diplomat. But at the moment, I'm more than pleased to take advantage of your considerable skill. Thanks for ending this nightmare, Inspector. Oh, that was kind of cool. All right, I don't think... Maybe I did. I probably... Okay. Yeah, I think I did. If there was loot, I'd probably have already looted it back here. Stuff like that, I don't care about. That's an empty bin. I don't think he really has anything else. What about his... His computer is off. So we can't do that. So we got journal... Um, all right. Where is that at? All right, that's over back on the at the hotel. If we do mobile Terry taste of purpleberry, that's where we're at now. 
So let's um This should be where we're at. Yeah, this should be where we're at. I kind of want to like explore this area over here. We may have already done this. I'm not sure if we've done any of this or not, so. And that's the bridge. And that's the not bridge. Well, it's definitely a lot quieter now. I did not mean to do that. Wait, I'm facing the wrong direction. And I think I want my gun now. Oh, what are you? Alright, well, he's possessed, but he's not. He's not really a problem. All right, that looked like something in the distance, but it was not. So, so far we haven't been hit by the stupid mosquitoes, and I'm hoping we never do. Okay, go on quiet. All righty. Could be a whole bunch of them. Go. Nice warm up. Press in, there we go. When you're the sniper, you hang back and let... You let your crew be the distraction. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, so we'll do a quick save here. Map Rooney. Alright, there... Is... Have I been? Well, wait. I have not been back there. Don't tell me. Okay, I don't think I've been on this thing at all, to be honest. All right, there's the... the cool rockets. This is the ramp up. <clears throat> this, <laughs> this ramp reminds me of Fallout 4 when you're building stuff and um you got there there's like uh, i don't remember if it was a ramp or what but uh where you uh anyway where you build you know stairs or something and it just it just reminds me of that So, he's a netter. We'll have to take care of him later. And there's the loot. All right. 
There's nothing weird showing up around here. Oh! Ah, let's see. Oh, we need to do some repairs anyway. Um, all right, so we need to go to armor. We need, uh, it's not hack, it's, well, it could be stealth skills. Lock pick plus five. All right, that's the the helmet again. Lock click plus five. Um, boy, it'd be cool if we had lock pick plus ten. I don't think we do though. We got some two plus hacks or some hack plus seven stuff. I wasn't no. All right, so we're not gonna have enough to unlock it. I would need enough gear. Even at ten. Yeah, man, I, I'm way too short. Kind of sucks. You hate to leave loot like that behind, but. If I ever play the game again, which I don't know that I'll have time, because there are other games I want to play, but if I ever did come back and play this again, you know, maybe I'd play and, and build a character that uh, could hack or, or, or uh, get into anything. Wait a minute now. All right, well, it's a good thing I came back here because there was loot that I totally missed. Well, I can't tell if there's anything back there or not. There should be a way in this building, though. I mean, it's a portable dealio, but I guess not. Hmm. Kind of sucks. Well, there was some loot, so it's not like it was a total loss. Not all the loot that I wanted, maybe, but at least some. All right, let me off this thing. We got our little, I guess it's like a road or something. All right, let's go this way. We'll crouch down in case something sneaks up. Maybe there's um, something underneath. That's not. No. And I probably not going to be anything. I don't want to get too close to that edge. There may be something off the end, but, you know. Speaking of. Doing quick save. Let's get a little bit away from that edge. I don't want to go off into the abyss. I'm, I think you can. I think I tested that. In either, not the previous chapter maybe, but the one before that. All right, so we're coming up this way. Is there anything? So far, there's this has been pretty quiet. There's something up there. No, 
Nothing on the scopes. Continuing on. Aha. Red alert. You okay, Pravati? There you come. What happened to your weapon? Holy cow. Oh, okay. She still has one. That sucks. Um, well, we can give her that, but she usually uses the uh, the the um the ranged weapon. All right, so we need to find the bodies. Good luck with that. I'm lucky to have found one. I see some up here. I don't see you smiling. <laughs> All right. I was going to say I can hear. There's definitely something, but probably on the other side of that hedgerow. Uh-uh, what do we got here? Yeah, buddy. I think that's the one I got earlier. We'll double check, though. Yeah, that's the one I got earlier. Well, we still got a lot of loot. I mean, it's not like... I mean, if you look, 75,000. I'm not hurting for money. I'm not hurting for currency. So... Plus, we have this lovely, nice. this lovely loot chest of junk, 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 junk. Hello. Thank you for the heavy ammo. I need it. My sniper rifle thanks you profusely. Woo! This is gonna be ugly if these stupid things get out. Because they are everywhere. I still think that before all is said and done, that we will be... dealing with them. I mean, you just don't... I mean, it's almost like Chekhov's guns. They keep mentioning it so much, they have to do something. But, you know... Or maybe there's a way I can prevent something from happening, I don't know. Great work. Yep, I thought so too. I don't know what this contraption is supposed to be, but... All right, he is not an enemy. Oh, you know what? I think when I was exploring, I think there was a uh, a maze. I think that's what that is. Bet you anything that is what that is.
and then the red I'm seeing is inside the, the maze, so. There's nastiness to have to fight. All right, we're gonna do a quick save. We will definitely be coming down here. It'd be kind of neat if you knew what these little contraptions are supposed to do. I'm guessing, you know, that the developers gave them a, a lore. Sublight. I'll take your tactical shotgun. Ooh, what have we got? Oh, this is just a handy girl. You butchered the song. You suck so bad. <laughs> All right, so we got another barrier over here. I don't know. We may, we may or may not have gone in here last episode, but again, I, I like I said. You, we lost so much time. Mm -hmm, here's red. All right, quick save has been performed. All right, what's the red for? don't know. Alright, so I do have to go back to this thing. Alright, so I'm guessing that's another hostile behind the hedge. Alright, there's red inside here. All right, let's do a quick save. Are there mosquitoes loose? I see anything flying? Oh, it's these guys. In the butt. They went in there and killed him. <laughs> Is that what happened? Shh. No, you're back here. All right, what well, killed them? Because it wasn't me. This is one of those wasquito. Oh, hey, are those wasquito hives? Yes. Don't worry, I'll keep my distance. Another quick save, because you just you just set off the trap. Haha, <laughs> that's convenient next to that. In fact, there's a lot of these conveniently placed. You may have to remember that. Blow these suckers up. Alright. That must be the control center. But they got these things all over the place. It's not like they're just... There's just a big concentration of them here. But there was a big concentration of them somewhere else, too. I don't remember where. Alright, that looks... Oh, that's another entrance. Alright, what is this? The hive. Oh, it's sealed. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, I think I did. I think maybe this is... Actually, no, I don't remember. I do remember coming through this on the previous day. All right. 
so we're all the way over here so we need to kind of swing back around go into this hedge maze thing all right that's just a a normal bot see like you got these you know you got these things too all right where I can't even tell where I'm facing. Uh, okay, so I'm coming back out. So that means that over this hill should be the edge row. So we've mostly found all the little random clues, which were kind of rubbish, to be honest. What I mean is that it was just, you have found the footsteps of blah, 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 or the, or the footprints of Halcyon Helen. It's like, yeah, kind of knew that. So where's the entrance? <clears throat> ah, this may be up. Maybe. No, that's just a sign. What do you think it got in there? Rabbit animals? Death traps? Probably a little bit of everything. All right, so I'm going to do a hard save. I've already told you six times, and I'll tell you six more. I don't want a fucking tour. <laughs> you can badger me all you want. I don't care if I'm from Forest Mills. I'm here as an individual, and I have just as much right to be here oh, yes. as any other visitor. Uh, I'm sure you do. You're welcome to bring a lawyer if you really want to try to force me out. Uh -huh. But I can guarantee you that I will bury them. What the hell are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. How many of you fools have I spoken to by this point? Seven? Seventeen? I... Wait a moment. You have all your teeth. You're not soaked in filth, and you don't look quite as slack-jawed as the regular Rizzo's staff. Are you not with Rizzo's? I could lie and get some extra XP. What made you think I was a worker? Couldn't I be another visitor to the orchard? Between the lockdown and the fiasco at the Grand Colonial, there are more interesting places for the average colonist to be. Which leads me to believe you're no average colonist. Regardless, please inform me if you'd be interested in a job. I've spent enough time out here that I'm starting to itch. I do not enjoy itching. <laughs> I'm sure you have questions. Uh, you said you're a lawyer? What are you doing all the way out here? When the going gets tough, the lawyers start going. Some farther than others. I've been a junior lawyer for coming up on 20 years now. And quite frankly, I'm getting old. Hopefully there will be enough legal kindling out here to fuel my firm for a while longer. And if I find that kindling, I stand to finally get my raise. Aha, uh -huh. so that's what it is. So you work for Forest Mills. I do indeed. Specifically, I'm their general counsel. Forest Mills, if you somehow don't know, owns Tile, Wentworth, Dock Rocket, and 24-7 Furniture. Were something of a big deal. Well, sorry to break it to you, but this is the first time hearing of you. That aside, you mentioned working together? I did. You see, Rizzo's has been advertising a contest in the Puzzle Hedges. Whoever gets to the center first gets a bottle of the first Spectrum ever made, the Spectrum Original. My interest, however, lies with the associated promise, the chance to attend the Spectrum Brown unveiling and meet Halcyon Helen. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Helen's dead. However, Rizzo's hasn't formally canceled the contest. Indeed, you are a savvy one. 
Rizzo's can no longer make good on their promise, which means this entire contest is one big fraud case. All I need is a single piece of evidence. Uh -huh. With the Spectrum original bottle, which is located in the center of the puzzle hedges, I will have all I need to sue Rizzo's for all they're worth. That's where you come in. I don't understand why you need my help. It's just a maze, isn't it? Navigating the maze is normally no easy task. Rizzo's has no interest in giving their property, however old, away for free. Come on, Captain, it'll be fun! Not like they got Manta Queens waiting around the corner or anything. You say that now. I'm glad you're feeling confident, but this maze is deadly by design. Uh, figures. And if that weren't enough, Zimmerman and Navare don't want anyone sneaking away with their prize. The place is mined and rife with murderous mechanicals. Ah, uh, well, mechanicals I can deal with. Is there anything, is there anyone else trying to get the Spectrum original? Two buffoons, but persistent buffoons. There's that woman from Glacial Age who has perhaps never had an original idea in her <laughs> life and hopes to pass the original off as her own. Then there's Navare, who is strange. I suggested I give her the original after my lawsuit if we work together, but she wouldn't hear of it. It must be hers alone, it seems. Uh-huh. Why does Forest Mills want to sue Rizzo's? Technically, I sue not on behalf of Forest Mills, but for my own benefit. In arbitration, it might be difficult to argue that this contest is designed to slight Forest Mills. However, as it so happens, if my lawsuit takes a chunk out of their savings, then I can collect while also damaging their capital. Uh -huh. It's a mutual win. I make millions, Rizzo's falls further from the board's good graces, and Forest Mills products look that much more valuable compared to Rizzo's trash. Why would Rizzo's give one of their original products away for free? I don't know if you know this, but Rizzo's is on the outs. They're losing power and losing money. This was no doubt a desperate bid to regain some lost clout. That, or their marketing team, is particularly spiteful. You know the saying, I'm sure. Why work for a promotion when sabotage takes half the time and a quarter of the effort? <laughs> well, I'll keep that in mind. All right, I'll get your prize. Excellent. I look forward to finally being able to focus solely on legal matters. Oh, and keep an eye out for competitors. Odds are they'll be looking out for the original as well. I see. So we got a new- I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure you have questions. About that job you mentioned. Has there been any progress? Uh, well, don't consider else. my offer too long. The longer we... All right. So he didn't have... I wanted to see what else he had to say. He didn't have anything to say. All right, let's do a quick save. All right, gang. Let's go in here. Well, yeah. there's probably nothing of investigative worth. The annoying thing is we're in a maze and <laughs> well, we have to remember how to get out because it's going to be a bloody maze. All right. Is there something? In a maze, what you want to do is just cut a path. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Let's do a hard save here. I, I know I did one just a little bit ago, but let's just do a hard save here and... Follow the left-hand path, says Count Mouse Frog 2, and eventually you'll find your way out. Does that start from the beginning, or...? Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Ooh, what... Is all right. She's not a hostile yet. 
Greetings. Have you brought your auto mechanical to the service technician lately? You, what you said sounds both banal and scripted enough to be a code phrase. Am I wrong? Clever, aren't we? Should be careful. Making accusations like that could get a body into a lot of trouble. Anyway, forget it. You aren't the person I was looking for. How do you know I'm not? You're not covered in a layer of dirt, fertilizer, and self-loathing. Listen, I don't know you, so I'd rather keep my admissions to a minimum without the presence of legal counsel. I was waiting for someone to give me information about these hedges. That's as much as you need to know. Why do people who are hiding something always have so much to say about it? <laughs> I take offense to that. I think. Oh, I get it. You're after the prize in the center of the hedges, too. Shh! Not so loud! Ah, damn it. I guess you already know. And you need a bath. I am indeed looking for the prize. You've caught me. You're not the only one looking for the Spectrum original, I imagine. Nope. There's a bottom feeder who sees an easy payday connected to it, but he's hardly worth considering. I also briefly engaged with an optimistic young woman intending to use the original as a springboard for upward mobility. Better than letting it rot, but still not ideal. If finding the bottle won't let you go to the unveiling, why are you here? What interest have I in an unveiling? I don't watch much in the way of cereals, and crowds only make it easier for people to get behind you. I'm after the Spectrum original itself. And not to drink. Have you noticed that there's no trace of anything the corporations have done in the past? In fact, this contest for the original is the only time I've ever seen a corp refer to a prototype product not currently on the market. And why isn't it on the market? Well, now that you mention it, it is a little strange. Indeed. And it's happened before. Seems the Corp are trying to hide their past failings. Anyhow, it's valuable to me to collect that which might inform future generations. Well, there's no real reason to uh, tell her I'm um, looking for it for someone else. Think fast. Never know when someone will come out of a bush, bolt her pistol at the ready. Keep your voice down. Never know who might be listening. So what about the prize you're looking for? I'm afraid I haven't made much headway on my own. Admittedly, I'm a little wary of all the explosions I keep hearing. Think fast. Never know when someone will come out of a bush, bolt or pistol at the ready. Who are you exactly, by the way? Nobody of consequence. Think of me as an archivist. I collect that which the corporations have dismissed as failures and try to sweep under the rug. Mm -hmm. Take the recalled Spacer's Choice Powerhead. It was a shotgun shell on a stick, apparently <laughs> supposed to be used like a spear. Had a tendency to ream the user's torso with buckshot. <laughs> Corps don't want the common man to know about screw-ups like that, which is why I keep my actions decidedly uh -huh. in the shadows. That's funny. All right, you mentioned a prior orchard's contact. I did. Someone I paid to inform on the orchards after I heard murmurs of a prize here. For security reasons, I never learned much about my contacts. All I knew about this one was that they were a groundskeeper. But the one here is either senseless or acting very well. That wonder if it's... Presumably, whoever I was in contact with was lying. Or they were found out and hurled off the side of Eridanos. It's a risk of the business. All right, I think we've heard enough. Talk to you later. That wasn't a dissident. That was a droid. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, it's a thingy. <laughs> That's right, you tell him, Nelson. Whoops, reload. Boy, that would have been embarrassing. Huh. 
I guess if you got a map and stuff. Uh, there we go. In the fountain with no liquid. Turned around. All right. Cause I got distracted. There we go. You would think mining the entrances would be the more optimal thing, but apparently not. Ooh, there's a cluster of fun over there. This way, the convenient thing he says. Whoa. Alright, so there's a cluster over here. And this goes nowhere. Phobia. Constantly taking damage from parasites and infected humans. You're no longer as effective around worm like creatures. Reject. I know that they always say, Oh, don't be afraid of the phobias, but no. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to. I'm not going to take penalties in this deal just to get an extra perk that may or may not help me. But it may, it may not. All right, so let's go back in. Wow, there was a lot of these little suckers. All right, come on. All right. So, that's probably all the enemies. Whoa. Hello. Oh, there were a lot of them. I knew there was a big old cluster of them. I didn't think there was that many, though. 
Woohoo! There's more to come. Maybe. Well, there's a bunch here. Wait, there's a bunch over there. Oh, come on. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> that's that's just so whack. Oh, man. That's just so whack. All right. That says this way. So we need to go to five. You know, for a game that makes you repair stuff for realism purposes, the fact that you can just repair it on the fly is not very real. That's why... That's why they all repair stuff. Someone else will clean this up, right? Yeah. Alright. Nothing of the interest in that one. Ooh. Mock apple cider. That's not what we want. That is not the prize. Alright, there's still some enemy back that way. Um. It's a garbage dump. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a garbage dump. Hey, but we're gonna take. We're gonna, we're gonna pull out of the muck. The tasty loot. And then sell it to some poor vendor or vending machine. Alright. Uh, hmm. Let me just... Alright, that's close to the edge. Remember these arch things are at the edge. So... All right, so I don't want to go through there because I know that's where we came in. So let's go back in here and see if we can find the next little, hey, this is where you're supposed to be thingy. Uh, was it? Well, oh yeah, that's the, <clears throat> that's where we've already been. I'm, af I'm afraid, um, I know I've already been over here. 
Right, that's the garbage. Don't want to go there. Although I think this is going to take me there anyway. Nope, this is the outside edge. Okay. All right. You know, I need to get a screen grab. All right, we're going to go out for sure because we know. Um, do a hard save here. All right. So we got some screenshots maybe to use for a thumbnail. All right, all right. The enemy is going from this direction. Whoa. <laughs> Now the enemy is dead, and that did not take us where we wanted to go. Hmm. Oh wait, is that the center? Maybe it is. Woo! -hoo! Back up. All right, quick save. Okay, I think this is it. There are thingies in here for sure. And yes, thingy is a technical term. All right, that is on the other side of the hedge. <laughs> that was fun. Can we do it again? Uh, no. Sorry, Pravati, but no. All right. Part of the hedgerow discovered. Purpleberry Puzzle Hage Completion Certificate. Congratulations, Explorer. You've reached the center of the Purpleberry Puzzle Hedges. This, certify, this certificate entitles you to a 5% discount on certain Rizzo's products at it that select Rizzo's vending machines. Note, the promise of a discount is non-binding. Any failure to find Rizzo's vending machines accepting said discount are the responsibility of the holder, not Rizzo's corporation. Any attempts to force a discount or dispute the grounds of the certificate, certificate's discount will be prosecuted to the full extent of lethal force. All right. All righty. Display case plaque. Greetings and congratulations, visitors. You found your way to the center of a uh, purpleberry puzzle hedges. You burned a one of a kind boon, the right to look upon a one of a kind Rizzo's product free of charge. We encourage you to wonder at what the Spectrum original taste might taste like as you keep at least three feet away from the display case at all time. Oh, this thing... Oh, it did. It's going nuts. Why are you going nuts? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis. Ground appears to be scattered with purpleberry seedlings. This particular strain is of a variety proprietary to Rizzo's and should not be in common use. You notice a glass bottle containing some of the seedlings half buried in the dirt. That ain't half buried. As you turn it over, you find a label on the bottom that reads, Property of Carter Reynolds Botanist. Looks like the person who took the original didn't hide their tracks so well. All right, so.
Well, I may as well do this. Puzzle hedges of the forking path. The clue you uncovered points you to the Purpleberry Orchard's con conservatory of all places. Perhaps a stray sprat ran off with the prize. I doubt it very much. In the meantime, there are Got funky coal medinas up ahead. Quick save. Alright, I hear bots, so... Ooh, hello. Looks like a mausoleum kind of a thingy. It for sure looks like a mausoleum kind of thingy. But... I don't see a way to get in. I'm curious. Actually, I'm very curious. Let's do a hard save. I know we've been doing a lot of these. And let's just see what online says. Well, I'm not finding anything online about this. This may just be... There may be something that I didn't feel like, you know, doing a lot of research for it, so... All righty then. Make him regret that part. We did it. Yeah, we did, sort of, kind of. And what do we got here? Oh. It's bits of a combat drone. I'm sure you did. Your loot made me smile, if that is any consolation to you. Woohoo! Speaking of loot. Oh, not much. Alright, don't want to go back that way. Woohoo! Loot. But, a dead end. So naturally, we gotta head to the red dots. <laughs> uh, let's do a quick save real quick, just in case. Just in case. We totally screwed a pooch. All right, and this feels like negatory. It looks like there's a gap there, though. Outrageous. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of just going. Woohoo! Uh-oh. We got too close. Back off, girls. Back off. Seriously. Alright. We just gotta let the stun effect wane off of us. Looks like it has. F5, I was a little too close. The blast was too much. Uh oh, what are you? Not an enemy. Hello, I guess we're gonna do guys up down like that. 
My word, stranger, you sure gave me a fright. I did. I thought you were one of those strange sorts heaving all over the place. Maybe they got a bad batch of purpleberry wine. Since you don't seem to be laughing maniacally or projectile vomiting, <laughs> think you could do me a favor? Well, that depends. I'm trying to come up with a new name for a glacial age product, but the creative side of things just isn't my area of expertise. Do you happen to have any ideas? As it happens, I freelance as a product design consultant. My advice isn't cheap, though. Wow, a real consultant. And I had the good fortune for you to luck into me. I'd be delighted to pay you. Oh, I'm sure you would. So, the company I'm with is Glacial Age. Mm -hmm. Our products usually have a finer ring to them. Uh -huh. And the product I'm trying to name is a vodka. Take your shot. Let's see. Distilled Dreams by Glacial Age. If you want to seem real uppity. Wow, that sounds great. I'm sure my bosses will love it. And don't worry, I'll absolutely credit you in one of the product footnotes. What is it you were trying to find a name for anyway? Oh, nothing all that fantastical. Just a new product idea Glacial Age R&D is working on. Uh, an idea that has nothing to do with why I'm in the puzzle hedges. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. But as it so happens, I'm a little on the lost side, so thinking about it helps keep the panic at bay. If you find a map or a stepladder or something, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm beginning to fear coming here wasn't worth the trouble. I feel like you're a long way from the Glacial Age offices. Hey, when a body hasn't contributed to her R&D team in what feels like months, she starts to pursue any leads that come her way. I tested into this job, same as anyone else, but there was a malfunction with the testing equipment during uh -huh. my final assessment. Makes me think that maybe I wasn't cut out for this. Mm -hmm. No matter what the scores say, it ain't easy for me to make things. Only had a few successes, like little sisties, pustules that pop, or my no muss, no fuss biodegradable bullets. Biodegradable bullets? Love those. All the firepower done the evidence eventually what you know about those i mean that's great always figured my products were niche that is unpopular unknown and unprofitable nice to hear it ain't always so so i'm going to take a wild guess seeing as you're in the maze you want to reach the center close i want what's in the center you've heard of the competition right whoever gets to the center gets a rare rizzo's product and the chance to meet halcy and helen my eyes on the rare Rizzo's product, namely the Spectrum Original, the first product Rizzo's ever made. I intend to reverse engineer it and make it Glacial Age's own. So you're just gonna steal somebody else's formula? <sighs> I probably should have seen this coming by you now. You should have. Ooh, this is dandy. I was not expecting any feedback from field testing before I'd even <laughs> created the product. I'll be sure to jot that down for future reference. You do that. All I need for my prototype is the original itself. Then I can start production. You're not the only one seeking this product, right? Reckon not. I've seen a couple of folks as out of place as, well, me. Mm -hmm. One's a lawyer. You can tell by the mm -hmm. smell of cigarettes, booze, and tears. <laughs> Must sense there's a lawsuit to be found with the original. On principle, I don't want him to get it. Also ran into a woman with a funny look in her eye. Plain told me she wanted the prize so she could stick it on a shelf. Hell's the use in that. Shelf ain't gonna help nobody. I'm not seeing why you want my help. It's these damn puzzle hedges. I don't know what I look like, but I reckon it ain't like a scrapper. That place is fit to burst with mines and killer machines. Well, most of them are dead. No doubt the work of my rivals. Mm -hmm. Better no one can get to the original if they can't have it. Isn't the stealing of the original to make your own project kind of dishonest? Dishonest? I've only ever heard that word used in that arbitration serial, Lawful Labelle. Rizzo steals, Spacer's Choice steals, Auntie Cleo steals. And so, if Rizzo's decides to release one of their original products for anyone to take, then it's Glacial Age's right to swoop in and be proactive. Well, I promise to give the original to someone else. Looks like the others are getting a little more aggressive. 
I know it's asking a lot, but maybe you could find it for me instead. Help out a struggling R&D developer? Yeah, yeah. My oh my, wouldn't it be wonderful if a freelancer could help rescue me from my horrible plight? All right, so I'm thinking. Part of me wants to give it to the lawyer just because it's humorous to sue these people, these corporations here. I'm not anti-corporation. I'm not anti-capitalist. <laughs> it's still funny. Um, you know, of course, if I give it to her, they they could sue her for copyright infringement and stuff. That could be fun. Um, I got to where the original was supposed to be, but it was gone. I think I've got a lead. Ain't great news, but I'm glad you've got a direction. I don't have much of a backup plan if you don't find this thing. All right. Goodbye. All right. So the red is this way. So guess what? All right, Pravati is like same house. Everyone all right? All right, where's our medic? Okay, come on, Ellie. Where the heck are you, girl? Get your booty over here. You're supposed to be over here, everybody. Uh, no, I was not supposed to do that. I do not want to go looking for you, girl. Oh, there you are. What were you doing? All right, quick save as we snake. Is this somewhere? Yeah, somewhere new. All right, weapon part, armor parts, okay. Junk, junk, and junk. But we'll take the ammo happily. Of course, we'll take all the junk happily. What am I, who am I kidding? We will take all the loot. We will be happy about it. All righty. All right, well, now I don't have red to go toward anymore. I don't think this is going to take me where I want to go, but nope. All right, so let's go in here. All right, we were already here. Actually, we've met all three. <laughs> Has mage. That's what I think about your little. That's what I think about your little thingy. All right, so the only bad thing is if we fast travel out, we'll have to run back in. That probably, though, is uh, the more sensible solution. All right. Well, this took us right back to where we were, where we, we don't want to be. Um... All right, so there's nothing here. So we're going to follow Count Mouse Feratu's hand on the left. And see what it does. All right, so this is where we just were. All right, that's not it. Oh, we're at the beginning. I think. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Yes. I think it is. All right, I just made the decision I'm going to talk to him. I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. 
I'm sure you have questions. The original wasn't at the center of the puzzle hedges, but I might know where to find it. You do? Hmm. I should have expected that things wouldn't be as easy as they looked. Well, let me know if you find any other information. All right, will do. All right, so we are out of here. Get out of my way, Holmes. Woohoo! And just for fun. It's called vermin control. I just felt like doing it. These things are like rats. Well, I can't say I feel too guilty about it. Carter Reynolds. All right, where are you? Are you on this side or that side? You are purpleberry processing. The inside. That's what I thought. All right, he looks like he's in the structure over here. Oh yeah, we were already, um, Hello again, youngster. You're certainly doing a lot of running to and fro. Don't overexert yourself. The wasp ketos can smell weakness. You're gonna, you're gonna unleash them, are you? in hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. I found this bottle at the heart of the puzzle hedges. Says it's yours. Oh, there that damn thing is. Thank you. I guess this proves it's wise to label your things. Otherwise, some fool might use them as prizes in an ill-advised scavenger hunt. Um, found it real close to where I should have found the Rizzo's original. Strange, huh? I will admit, I did take the original, yes. But I did so to keep it away from those who shouldn't have it. It's safer in my hands. If you're here to get it, I might suggest you give up. I'm known to be quite a stubborn git. Yeah, well, I'm a stubborn git too. What do you want the original for? I didn't want it for anything. I needed to keep it safe. Rizzo's almost never makes mistakes, but offering a classified original product to the public for free? Any upstart might grab it and use it to make Rizzo's look bad, or, or steal it to make a new product offshoot, or, law forbid, start a lawsuit of some kind. Better I hold on to it. Now I want the lawyer to have it. Don't you think the mines and the killer mechanoids were a bit of an overreaction? The what now? I didn't order any mines or machines. I just paid Slug to encourage people not to enter the puzzle hedges. Figured they just dress somebody up like a primal and chase maze goers. Like we did after the Spectrum Black unveiling a decade back. Or maybe that was a real primal. I forget. <laughs> uh, you taking the original makes it seem like Rizzo's lied about the prize, which is fraud. Damnation. Hadn't thought of that. Isn't my having it better than any random guest making off with it? I guess not, if it'll cause the company more trouble. Here's the original. Don't do anything with it that I wouldn't do. All right, thank you. Oh! All right. We're going to do a hard save. All right, skills, pay to be yields, lockpick. 
Uh, even that, even if I get extra stuff, it's still not gonna be enough. Need more. More, I tell you. Alright, perks. Alright, I gotta stay this. Give me a second. Okay, so after some consideration, I think we're gonna do that one. And we'll go from there. So it's just codec entries and just log stuff, so I'm not that worried about it. I try to collect all that stuff. Alright, J is for journal. Okay, quest. Thank you. <laughs> return to formula. You finally got the formula. Time to return. So basically, because I picked him up first, I'm returning to Sam. Where is he? Sam. Oh, so it gives me the option to return to all three. I've already looked at you, and you're nothing. All right, let's go. This is the hedge mage, I think. Uh, no, there it is. They don't even have a proper road here. That's my dead sprats. All right, I'm gonna give it to you just because I can't stand. I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. Okay, Obi-Wan. I'm sure you have questions. Okay, I decide I let you have the original. Here you go. Because it'll amuse me to see Rizzo's get sued. Ah, finally. Where have you been all my life, my darling? You and I will make quite a team, won't we? <laughs> your pay, good freelancer. I shall win this case in your honor. All right. So I did, when I was looking to see what if that mausoleum thing was anything, I did look to see if there was a difference in uh, if you gave it to one or the other. And there's not, so... It's six one way, half of a dozen the other, no matter who you give it to, so. All right, um, all right, so strange taste of purple berry. We're gonna go back to that. Is this way. Ooh, careful. There we go. Well, since we've cleared most of this, this is like a much safer endeavor, and I've already explored everything, so. Okay, I saw that movement, I thought. Wait. An open bin, but I missed the cider, apparently. DD Labs. All right, so we're going in. New location. If it ever loads. Ooh. All right, there are enemies in here, so. Actually, let's... Do a little scanning real quick. Model spaceship inventory. All right, we're still going okay on space. Hello? I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. I'm guessing that's over there. But first, I see loot. Junk, but loot nevertheless. To be sold. Oh. 
kind of gun are you? Act 65, view recent appointments. Uh, let's see. Alright, so that's Halcyon Helen. Cleanup requested. Alright, doesn't look too interesting. doesn't look too interesting so this is this is the only okay it just basically basically saying Halcyon Helm was coming here which I think we kind of sort of guessed now there's smoke over here we're gonna do a quick save just in case we actually get poisoned by the fumes. Oxious gases don't seem to be a thing that affects you, but they could. Alright, there she is. I'll do another quick save. How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. Who are you? Pardon the blue blazes out of me, but who in the name of the Eternal are you? I'll have you know, I am Dr. Leora Blossom, the head of research and development, and you are standing in my lab, uninvited. Now, perhaps you couldn't tell by the empty lobby and general state of disarray, but this is no time to be playing games. Something's obviously going on here. You really want to sass me right now? Especially since I got a big gun. No, you're right. Listen, I'll be direct with you. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. <laughs> Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Um... There isn't anything you can do to help? Hmm. Yes. I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Huh. I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them? I hope. By the way, I didn't see any hostiles on the way here from the entry door. You could make a run for it. And lose my life's work? You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? She may be no, the worm I think chick. not. We merely need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. Even I think that's pretty cold, and I'm a mercenary. <laughs> Staff can be replaced, you know. Research data? Now that's invaluable. What goes on in these labs that would turn your researchers against you? Oh, no. They're quite unaware of their actions, I'm afraid. We're a research and development branch of Rizzo's, focused primarily on the Spectrum Vodka line. But the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential. You understand? I'll find out when I hunt through the lab. You might as well tell me up front. So you've no qualms about snooping through my precious research files. That's right. But will you understand the data once you've acquired it? Maybe. Essentially, we research new innovations for an array of Rizzo's products. My present troubles stem from one we've just developed. The product's potential for profit is nearly limitless. But I'm afraid explaining the science behind it would far exceed your capability for understanding. Ellie, any thoughts on what it could be? If it's causing sudden aggressive behavior in lab technicians, there must be a fast-acting neurological agent of some kind. I've underestimated you. Yes. It seems to be an adverse effect of several organisms attaching to a subject. Quite unnerving. Yep. I can take care of your problem, but I'll need you to answer some questions afterward. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. 
Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. These people don't deserve to die, Captain. Let's try using the sedative. <laughs> the door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Thank you, Pravati, for making it harder, but yeah, I don't I don't disagree. I don't disagree with you, girl. So I do not disagree. All right, so Hey, it's a vending machine. And you know what that means. All right, there's lots of fun stuff in here. And the dead body to boot. But I have a feeling that we're going to run into a lot of... <clears throat> possessed people. Anyway, I'm going to empty out some inventory. Okay, so <laughs> while I was selling stuff, I was like, wait, all the prices are like, you know, way cheaper but then it's because i'm not getting the better prices from this vending machine like i was at that one place so but i discovered i had this in my inventory um which is pretty good that's also really good i think i think ellie tends to like these things so let's see um it was this one. Yeah, let's give her that. And then what has she got? The vermin to the bolster pistol. It's more energy. What does she take in here? Heavy. I use heavy as well. I usually sell pistols because I don't think about it, but yeah. Probably. Um. I could give her the energy one. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt. And we could give her the pristine one. Just for fun, let's check out. Um, yeah, we're not doing so great on it. It's we got five thousand rounds. I mean, that should be fine for now. You know, we could sell off probably um, a lot of that because we don't use any light ammo. I don't remember that song. Well, I didn't sell off as much as I could have, but it's fine. I think. All right, let's go over here. It's not worth it, buddy. What were you saying? It's not worth it. Rizzo's first product. Mm, okay. J is for journal. All right. So deal with the frenzied. Uh, yep. See. She directed you to a terminal in the utility room that could disperse a set of gas to knock them out. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I got a, I got a soft spot for my girl, uh, provi um, Provati, so. So, map. All right. I guess that's where the terminal is at. 
not 100% sure, but man, that would mean we're going to sneak like crazy. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, so... Well, that's probably an elevator, and that's probably what she's disabled, because it's... <laughs> It's too easy if you could take the elevator. No, you're gonna take the stairs at the end of the hall or over here. Cause that's just how we roll around here, y'all. Okay. Terminal. Mind the gas can canisters. Blah blah blah. After after work bar meetup. Increase product protective measures. So well we got all that now. Girls, where are me girls? All right, so I need to go out of the elevator to the right and then around. All right, well, one just showed up. Of course. Of course. They're going to make me do this the hard way. That is probably where the terminal is, and of course you can't just go there because F you. Alright, so now he doesn't see me. Alright, uh, I got to think about this. I mean, if I don't want to kill them, how do we do this? Where are we at on the map? All right. Well, we could... Hmm. <sighs> All right. Man, it's just so annoying. I mean, <laughs> it's right there. Um, I suppose maybe we can come up the stairs and then come in here and come around there and then get around, but, you know, we'll just see. This looks, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Desk, maybe. I don't know. But the door right there, I think, is what we're going to have to do. Might as well get some of this loot while we can. Alrighty. This is not a door we can go into. But that is loot we can grab. Couple more energy cells with the smeg. Alright, F5. Quick save. <laughs> Alright, there is an enemy off over that direction. 
might be able to stand up and not be seen. Do another quick save. So this is the worm stuff. Yep, see, I knew it. Well, I technically I knew. Ooh, there's a fire. So there's a worker. Appreciate that for body. Uh, let's see. Well, this isn't going to help me. But there might be loot. Ooh, cigarettes that are still smoldering. Sulfur sir sulfur soap top hat. This top hat once belonged to Captain somebody of uh, Byzantium, last seen on Terra Monarch, staying too close to the edge of a sulfur pit. The pungent accessory serves as a reminder of the many dangers found on Monarch, and a further example of why no self-respecting. Halcyonite should ever visit. I see. So what is it doing here? All right, so we got the zeal furnace here, which I'm assuming maybe they were burning bodies or something. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna guess. Not what I wanted. All right, so If I take the stairs, okay, I'll come out in here. I guess I need to get to those stairs over there. Do a quick save here. Ooh. Thank you for the mag blocks. Um, ooh, it's sealed. But of course. Well, that might explain that. Well now, well now. All right, that doesn't do anything. Well, this was a bust. Alternate plan number uno has failed dramatically. And we can't get in that door. Have we been in here? No. Well, there's probably nee, there's probably not gonna be really anything in here except some junk loot. Mm, I thought I saw some.
Get out, get out, get out. Alright, let's go back to the bloody elevator. This door is almost certainly going to be sealed. Yep. That door is sealed. Um, I don't know that we can get through without killing somebody. I know we snuck in to... What's-his-face's place... But to be honest, that's sealed and that's sealed. So we got no choice. The elevator was it the whole time. So I'm annoyed. Not gonna lie, kind of annoyed. Right. There's a blue door there, but you know, See, that's the problem. There is no way past them without killing them. And if we go this way, you know, they've got the stairs part. So there's no way. There is absolutely no way to get through without killing. I, I do not know. Right, they seem to have moved on just a bit. Maybe if I hide behind this. Okay. As long as my companions don't go stupid. Well, this is no guarantee. Let's close this door. There we go. All right, there's... Another one of the infected so-and-sos. Oh wait, no, that's not. That's um Never mind. This is trying to be trying to avoid killing them. Definitely makes this way harder than it should be. All right. Let's just see <clears throat> what he does. All right, he's moving around. All right. Oh, 
Oh man. All right. Um. All right. So I came in over here. Probably could snake myself around back that way. There's the other door. Shoot. Ah. Swear. Um, it's starting to look like the option is to go through. But you know, there's gonna be they're gonna have some fools in here. We just just about have to. All right. Rizzo's could have helped a lot of people with all the bits they poured into this place. Um, you girls can come out anytime you want. Get out of the way. Alright. I'm doing a lot of saves. Alright. So there's stairs. Okay. Well, wait, we're on the... Okay, all right, that's right. We need to go around here. Ignore the stairs for now. A few lab notes. Messages. Um, stop immediately. I didn't see anything too interesting. Empty bins suck. Gosh, that's clever. Oh boy. There's a worm thing back there. And kill the worm thing. All right, so we need to go through this door. Holy cow. All right, we're on the wrong side of the door. And let's... Imagine making that much of the stuff and it still tastes bad.
But I guess there was a way. <laughs> All right, so we did it. So everyone should be knocked out. And now we can explore at our leisure. New employee, blah, blah, blah. Training files, corrupted logs. First day, got 17 requests from the lab workers. Da, 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 da. Gas hookups. Since I read that stupid orientation document, I've been hoping they'd ask me to volunteer for something, and here it is. I get to be the taster, test taster, for the new Spectrum flavor. I'm, I'm heading to the lab right now after I fix the clog in the showers. So exciting. All right. Well, I don't know if that means that he was given a worm down or not. But anyway, convenient bar door is convenient and now open. Yep, there should not be... Yep, no more enemies. Just lovely loot. Everywhere. Okay, those are empty. Alright, the doctor is over there, but I don't really care. Doctor, you are going to invest in the Astro Nerd Boy funds. A death journal. You dealt with the frenzied workers. Okay. Well, I gave them a set of gas, but this is acting like they're dead. So I probably killed them anyway. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Because when I gave the sedative gas to, um, The whatchamacallit, um, they were actually asleep and it felt like they could wake up and you could not loot the bodies. It was a few episodes back, but... Nevertheless, I didn't actually pull the trigger. I did what she said to supposedly keep everyone alive. And now the tasty loot is all mine. Uh, empty bins are empty. Alright, let's see. Where are we at? So, let's go in here. Actually, before we do that, let's just, uh, let's loot that. And that. I have a feeling we might get burdened down. That looks like a mine. Possibly, but I can't take it. There's a piano. That I cannot play. But I can take the wine. Yeah. Hello, I'm gonna have my liquor in this, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird little bit of stuff there. Well, it looks like there's tracks, so maybe, but there's no door or anything. Oh, unless that, then this, this whole thing is a door, but I don't know. It's really hard to tell. But this looks like a little lounge area. Something. All right, so we're in this big room here.
it kind of feels weirdly un maybe finished. I mean, I don't know. It's um. Something doesn't feel right about it. Yes, pirates indeed are winning the um, sneaking through and not killing anyone. Although I think I killed everyone. But it's not my fault if, if that's what happened. But they certainly are giving up the loot as if they were dead. And, and their bodies are lootable like they're dead. No. Yeah, I I just don't understand. It's this seems very weird to me. Um, did I go? Yeah, I was. Was it? Yeah, I was in that corner. I mean, if you look, you got the piano, kind of a nice little area, and then this weird. It's almost like the walls have been removed, and then you had this little area, which was supposed to be something. There's a desk, nice desk, nice flooring, you know, nice little, you know, couch thing with a footrest, and you know, the nice table, and it had the adult beverage on it. And then you had this industrial, and then another little nice area with a TV that isn't working. Yeah, so none of this makes sense to me. What was going on here? Alright, but we can get out of this little non-hedge mage. I already looked at this. No, we have not. Every single one of us begin to have clinical insomnia. And she tells us it's because we're drinking too much coffee. Well, it is because of the coffee, or more so what's in the coffee. I had the janitor swap out the coffee grinds uh, an hour later than usual this morning. You know what he found? I've been asleep all day. Oh, and what do you know? I've been asleep all day. Those jerks in product have been messing with our supply. Don't ask me how. I just know they they think they're so smart. They know how to... They, because they know how molecules work. Well, they aren't the only ones who can create a chemical dependency. I've got a Pav Pav Pavlovian prank in place for the Spectre Brown presentation that'll cause quite the show. So, yeah. Halcyon Helen, we're thrilled, blah, blah, blah. Stop immediately. All right, this is about the squabbles again. Um, what in blessed corporate laws? All that commotion down there. Oh, we, we, we looked at that somewhere else, that one. Yeah, see, the bodies are lootable, like, as if, uh, as if they're dead. Well, now, well, now. I think we just came from there. Yes, we did. So, these were the two guys we were trying to avoid earlier. Mr. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll leave that closed for now because we need to go back in there. Nice. Empty bins are empty. Uh, I think we're already here. Yes, indeed. Um, yep, yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the barred door. All right. So what kind of, um... You're an ugly critter, aren't you? Wow. That must be what's inside them. Ouch. 
and then they get bigger. For what, pray tell, are you? Lab notes, our discovery. Ah, here we go. So I'm gonna read this, Slug Lab. Finally finished our first set of experiments on those parasites we harvested from the infected would-be attraction animals. And the results have been, what the hell am I doing? Why am I taking this tone? Who's gonna see this aside from the members of the research team? I barely need mention how beyond completely phenomenal today's find has been. Not only have we discovered why Harold, the system's saddest teacup candid, had his remarkable turnabout. Frankly, I'm amazed no one realized something was right earlier. His cage was only about as large as he was. By the way, Myers, there goes your daily adreno injections theory, you buffoon. <laughs> but we've also found something that will lead me, that will find me to a vice presidential position in no time. Remind me to devote bench, um, commemorating, uh, uh a bench, oh, sorry, devoted bench commemorating the Rizzo semi industrial exploration team, uh, for giving their lives to bring back the uh iridium whatever from the holy uh holy uh caves i'll also be certain to devote an even larger bench for to myself for finding the birthing site of the parasites and ordering the experiments to start i've already been in talks with management about ideas for products that could utilize the parasites joy intensifying hormones it's amazing that Slug hasn't looked deeper into this. We may have to seed them the land, but seemingly they haven't disturbed our research site. Well, their oversight is Rizzo's immediate benefit. Great job to me. So, kind of as I figured, um, Rizzo's did this to their own employees. The bostages. Cadaver removal. At the earliest convenience, Slug Labs requires your sanitation service for cadaver removal. There are two bodies at present in the labs. One scientist, one test subject, sent a team uh, to move the personnel corpse to the incinerator. We saw those. After this, please send a hazard team to dispose of the test subject. For highly classified reasons, the corpse can emit a certain chemical compound, uh, compounds that are extremely extremely dangerous if mishandled don't skip on your protective gear we'd hate to have to hire a separate utility team to pick up the bodies of yours so that's the complaint message that we saw earlier we've seen it a few times so so we found the worms and he implanted people with them. Yada yada. And maybe. Well, that's probably that chick that wants us to do all this stuff. Ooh. There's stuff below. I didn't even notice before. Alright, we're back at the ugly worm. I don't want to be at the ugly worm. All right, I don't know that we went in here, so let's go out this door. And yep, there's some loot. That's barred. Well, actually, it's not even a real door. It's a fake door. It's a fake. All right. All right, so we need to go in this door. Hello. All right, so 
Let me... We've got a few of those, I think. Ellie's got one for sure. Actually, you know what? Let's break this down for some weapon parts. And we'll keep that. Let's break that down for some weapon parts. Wow, that actually doesn't look too bad. Let's break that down. Wow, that looks pristine. Pristine. All right. Anything else? I don't want to possibly reduce to scrap. Yeah, we'll do that one. I'm just getting a few more repair parts. I've got plenty of gold, so it's not like... Alright. And then while I'm here... We need to repair. So let's go ahead and just repair. So it's a little bit cheaper. And then let's go to Tinker. Um, and you can actually improve its damage. <laughs> that is so wild. All right, so Tinker. Uh, accept. Yep. Okay, so I can't do any more there. That one's 39. This one's 31. It will cost 26,000 bits now. No, 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 no. 2,000, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, switch to this again like I did earlier uh, at least I've got you know something that can like uh, lay down the wall mm -hmm. purple berry lunch eh mm, empty locker is empty uh, an empty locker is empty. All right, that is nothing. Um, is that what we walked across earlier? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, there's loot back there. How do I get back there, girl? That is how I get back there. Coolant tank? That looks like... That looks like... Yeah, buddy. Pneumatic piston coolant tank. Alright, that's... Oh, no, it's junk. Never mind. I just realized this is all junk. Ah, well. I thought it was going to be quest stuff. But the last quest thing we had was the certificate. Eh, well, bummer. Alrighty then. Empty. <laughs> They're bloody empty bin. Empty bins suck. We don't want empty bins. We want loot. Loot, I tell you, loot. Oops. Uh, looks Clicked out of screen. All right, so we've explored that. Have we explored? 
this. I know we went in here. Pretty sure. Well, let's just go in and see anyway. Probably did. So we're going to the hall. I, I just can't remember. Is this it? Yes, it is. All right, well, I'll know in a few minutes if I find bodies that are lootable. Yep, all right, so I've already looted them, so. All right, been here. Been there, done that. Well, I guess. I need to go exactly the opposite place. And then down. Ah, uh, the hole in the wall. It's a hole in the wall. And I know we've already looted this, so. All right. What do you say? Quick. Well, we, we need to actually look in here, don't we? Just, all right, real quick quick in here. I, I don't remember. No, yeah, I do remember. We, we've been in here. Uh-huh. Alright, how about you? Yes. Where are we at? Oh, yeah, we've definitely been in there. Alright, so... Yeah, no, I don't need to have the weapon brandished right. I know those stairs could, but let's go down. Let's go around. Well, I think we've actually already been over here. Yeah, because we couldn't get down those stairs. So, it's so actually, we need to go to the right and then all the way down. Uh-huh. Yep. That's right, because we came in here, we started looting, and then this guy showed up. Your gas mask did you no good, did it, my friend? Sorry about that. Ooh, the flies. And the garbage. Energy canister. Is that more junk? Negatory. It's not interesting. Wait, I thought I fixed everything earlier. It says condition is 100%, but it's acting like I need to repair it. But I don't see anything on the screen here, so I guess we're okay. I hope we're okay. All right, this is new. Oh yeah, the toilet. Hey, nice. Yep, because in your toilet shower room, you always keep the ammo. Yeah, there's, yeah, that's the shower room over there. This is all the toilets. Nasty! I hope no one has to take a dump, because it is nasty in here. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, there's loot that I missed somehow, because, you know... But hey, we got it in the end, so I guess that's all that really matters, right? Alrighty, where are we at? Alright, so that's the bathroom. 
Right, I think we've explored everything down here. Either way, I'm getting tired of being down here. Let's take the stairs. Just to see what they do. They may be dead, I don't know, but... Nope. Oh. Yeah, hello. New stuff is new. And not an empty bin. But there's an empty bin. Because, hey, why not? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. More loot! Coolant tank, another one of those. Now we're just taking everything, because... Because we can, can, can! Interesting symbol. I don't see anything else in here to take. All right, that's at lab from below. Yeah. Just who in the... Oh, my law. It's you. Wait. Uh. What do you think you're... Dr. Uh. Blossom? Captain, we gotta hurry. Yeah, but we got looting to do, and, and it was scripted. Well, we gotta help ourselves to our cigarettes, you know. Our terminal is dead, though, so no juicy secrets there. And the safe is open, but, um... Who ate my lunch? Hydrogen peroxide, eh? H2O2. Alright, nothing else here. We must loot. Did we go in that little closet hidey hole there? Yes, we did. That's what you get for not looking at the map. All right. So we've been over there. Let's go. So we've been there. So we need to go back here. No, 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 we were right here. Oh yeah, that's, that's... Well, that is an elevator, isn't it? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here, mere moments earlier in the timeline. Examine great. Looks like standard ventilation shaft that dimensions would fit a small frame person allowing them to enter here. Hmm. Looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know, clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests. Examine fuse box. You see, cut red wire likely... You think this could have disrupted one of the circuits, maybe on the door lock. Uh, regulation system. See that red wire? Whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily. At least until the fail-safes kicked in. Alright, thanks for your observations. I haven't been using this at all in here. Somebody didn't want us talking to Dr. Blossom. You think it was Miss Helen's killer? Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. <laughs> but recently, they were still alive. <laughs> oh, what would I do without you, discrepancy amplifier? All right, let's examine the body. You're sure you heard gunshots earlier, but this victim's 
Loss of blood is oddly minimal. These puncture marks. It looks like she was injected with something. Search immediate area. Although you distinctly remember hearing gunshots over the intercom, you don't see any bullet casings. Whoever Dr. Blossom confronted over the intercom, they dispatched her and all four of these scientists without much resistance. Means they must be well trained, some kind of sharpshooter or adventurer. Maybe me from the future. What an awful place to die. What do you think happened to her? Five kills in and out before we could catch a glimpse of the culprit? I'd expect more blood. There are lots of ways to kill someone without spilling blood. But I guess this isn't the time. All right, there's more. But we got to buy the loot, possibly? No, we do not. Dr. Blossom. Well, we didn't need your key card, but thanks. Collect all eight variants of Spectrum Vodka. What? Open case. Return to root. Okay. The Gatling taunts me from behind the glass cage. The infernal void thing refuses to work. And I know the cause, it's me. Why am I wired like this? Why? Whenever I tried to fiddle with the internal sober. Wait. Whenever I tried to fiddle with the internal sober, I broke parts off. Or connections failed to fire, or pieces struck out of casings and shorted out other components. So, of course, the solution was obvious. Get at least a little plastered. Prior to the work period, every work period, when I'm relaxed, my hands don't shake, and it's so much easier to see where things should fit or how to bridge certain connections. The problem is, of course, is that I also get artistic. Why should a weapon work as a on mechanicals alone? Why shouldn't you have to, say, slot one of every freaking kind of spectrum vodka into the thing before it will fire for the first time i don't even know if it's tied to the weapons internals or if it's some kind of lock but it seems like it should fire and absolutely will not <clears throat> i have to get one of every kind of spectrum including black uh i can only hope the storage warehouse has had a recent shipment of the entire spectrum all this work would have been from nothing I have to be the dumbest genius this side of Halcyon L. Blossom. View download confirmation. Error file deleted was successfully downloaded to the external data cartridge messages. All right, um... All right, that's the one that keeps showing up everywhere. Files, error file deleted. Uh, hack. All right, test involving the parasite colloquially... Coll colloquially uh, dubbed slugs have produced uh, astounding results even when compared uh, against our most promising methods of producing a brain chemical dependency the pheromone of the parasite secretes the pheromone the parasite secretes produces a dopamine more effective than anything on record further tests will continue researching how much of the compound we can introduce to subjects and observe the effects Despite our less than ideal presentation to ad the to uh, administration, the product impressed for two main reasons as stated before. The product will produce that boozy feel-good stimulus like no other, but more importantly, the pheromones makeup is completely unique, which means there are no regulations surrounding its classification. 
The idea of a completely addictive product with zero lulls surrounding it would certainly justify any means. Don't they realize this just makes us more curious about that data file? Yeah. All right, so this is the weapon in question. So another weird science deal, probably. Um, we don't want to use the terminal. Can we examine? No, oh, it's sealed. Oh, that's right, because we got to find. Pipeline discrepancy detected nearby. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already stand. I see. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. All right, so I can't leave the body. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Thank you for that ultra helpful analysis. Hello. Not gonna. Oh, whoops. There it is. Okay. This is. <sighs> this is Dr. Blossom. Eridanium Jagassia Slug Research Report 1. Subject A bunch of slugs. Ugh. These things may well be Rizzo's ticket to the top of the board. But at the end of the day, they still look like my brother would if he ever stopped wearing that damn toupee. Initially found these little bastards suckling on the hairy undersides of a teacup canid. Much like my brother, who works for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. The backstabber. Suffice it to say that these things are parasites. The canid didn't seem to mind, but it's almost as stupid as my research staff. Good stuff. Oh, whoops. Got some spectrum on the dissection subject. That's fine. Yeah, I think I see a couple sacks in the worm. Might secrete enzymes or poison or something. We'll figure it out later. Starting to see doubles, so I'm going to switch to working on the Gatling. Almost got the spectrum lock done. Okay. Does seem like, you know, very specific. Hmm. Oh, okay, that was a helmet. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Seems kind of weird to me. There, there's some things that are just I'm picking up that are just I have no idea what they are. And um, okay, so this was the barricade. That's um, yeah. Okay, I know where we're at now. All right, now I know why they barricade that. Convenient barricade was convenient. Report to administrator. Have we done everything else? Yes. Well, is this going to get me out the door? Yes, it is. All right. There may have been some more exploring I could have done, but to be honest, I was kind of tired of uh, dealing with it. Attention all personnel. Unscheduled pollinization cycle is about to commence. Please evacuate the orchards at this time. Releasing the water.
So, I'm just going to fast travel straight over here. <laughs> I knew that the mosquitoes was going to be a thing. Um, but, um, yeah, and I did not want to deal with them. Ah. Uh, Oh. All right, so it's an optional quest. I tell you what, we'll go back. But anyway, we'll do that in the next episode, but I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe, all the other stuff. And there's my manga and anime blog, anime.astronerboy.com. And we will see you in the next video.